Bismillahir Rahmanir Today I will talk about myrina and I will discuss the mechanism of action, the indications, the contraindications, the method of insertion, and method of removal of myrina as well. What is myrina? Myrina is a T-shaped hormone-releasing intrauterine device that can provide long-term contraception along with less painful periods. How does myrina prevent pregnancy? To prevent pregnancy, myrina thickens the mucus in the cervix to stop sperm from reaching or fertilizing an egg. It thins the lining of the uterus and partially suppresses the ovulation. As we are discussing myrina, so it's a good idea to talk about other levonorgestrel intrauterine systems as well, which include first of all myrina, which is a 52 mg levonorgestrel intrauterine system, licensed for first five years of contraception but for HMB it is licensed for four years for endometrial production. Next is that of the JDs which is 13.5 mg levonorgestrel which is licensed for contraception for only three years. Next is Kylina 19.5 mg levonorgestrel licensed for contraception for five years and the last one is Levocert which is 52 mg levonorgestrel licensed for six years for contraception and five years for HMB. What are the indications of myrina? First of all, it provides contraception for five years. Secondly, it prevents menorrhagia. It prevents dysmenorrhea. It is helpful in premenstrual syndrome. It prevents the endometrial hyperplasia and it prevents the carcinoma endometrium in women taking HRT or with a PCOS. What are the contraindications of myrina? The list of contraindications of myrina include, first of all, known or suspected pregnancy, current or recurrent BID, lower genital tract infraction, postpartum endometritis, cervicitis, cervical dysplasia or carcinoma, undiagnosed and abnormal uterine bleeding, congenital or acquired uterine anomaly which distorts the uterine cavity, STD, acute liver disease or liver tumor, hypersensitivity to the constituents of preparation. What is the procedure of insertion of myrina? First of all, I will introduce myself to the patient and take her introduction. I will make sure that there must be a legitimate indication for myrena. I will rule out any contraindication to the procedure by taking medical or gynecological history. I will explain the whole procedure to the patient and take an informed consent as well. I will make sure that the equipment required are present and ready for use and I will check the expiry date and integrity of the sale. I will ask my patient to empty her bladder and put her on couch in dorsal lithotomy position. After wearing gloves, I will clean the area and do my manual examination to assess mobility and position of the uterus. Then I will insert the Cusco speculum of appropriate size after lubricating it and fix it to visualize the cervix and clean it by three swaps. I will hold the cervix with a single tooth denaculum. Then I will sound the uterine cavity to assess the uterine size and position. I will ask my assistant to open the shaft in my hand. I will make sure that the slider is on for this position toward the cervix. Don't pull it back as it will unload the myrina which can't be loaded again. Then I will set the upper end of flange according to uterine size. Now myrina is ready for insertion. I will move inserter into uterus until flange is about 1.5 to 2 cm away from the cervix. Do not force the inserter. Now I will release the limbs of myrina by pulling the slider back up to the mark. Then I will push the inserter gently inside the uterine cavity till the flange touches the cervix. Now I will release the myrina by pulling the slider back at the way. Then I will remove the inserter from the uterus by pulling it out. In the end, I will cut the thread 2-3 to cm away from the cervix. I will clean, reposition and cover the patient and observe for 15-30 to 30 minutes for any complaint and call her for follow-up after 4-6 to six weeks. Now I will explain how to remove myrena. Myrena is removed simply by pulling the thread with a sponge holding forceps. And the good point is that you may insert a new myrina immediately after its removal. So thank you so much. That was all about myrina, its indications, the contraindications, the method of insertion and method of removal. Subscribe on Obsent Gyne channel. Allah Hafiz.